Hello and welcome back to the Ford County Real Estate Show. I'm your host Kevin Carey with Caliber Home Loans. I've got Maggie Dawson here with me with Remax Plus here in Urbana. Thank you very much for joining us, Maggie. Um, so, look, we're gonna flip the script again. If you've been watching any of these videos, Maggie's gonna play hostess with the mostess here. So she's gonna start asking me some questions. So Maggie, go ahead and take it away. Hi, so we're still working on buyers here. And one of the most important things is when you make your application to the lender, you have to provide them lots and lots of financial information. It feels very, very invasive. We're always taught to keep our finances to ourselves. Well, when it comes to your lender, you've got to give him or her everything. The other thing I recommend for my clients to do is once they give a document to that lender, is you keep it in a folder and because they might ask for it more than one time. And it gets frustrating, but just give it to them. And I'm going to have Kevin sort of explain why they might be asking for the same documents down the road, mm -hmm. even though you've already given it to them once, and what documents might need to be updated as the process goes through. Gotcha. So, listen, when you're obviously when you're starting this process, you're, you're right, there's a long laundry list of stuff, right? So, ultimately, at the end of the day, it's the you know, last two pay stubs, last two months worth of bank statements, driver's license, and potentially tax returns. Sometimes if those are not needed. If you're self-employed, of course, they are definitely needed. However, what happens is this, is that, especially with COVID right now, everything has to be within 30 days of closing. So if you provide us with your, let's say you get ratified, right? We're updating your documentation, you're closing in 45 days. So we ask you, hey, we need to get your file into underwriting, we need your most two recent pay stubs, most two recent bank statements. Well, process goes through underwriting, underwriter comes out and says, hey, we need another pay stub. Well, the reason why that may be is because the one that we have are going to expire within that 30 day window that we were talking about. So that's another reason why we may need additional documentation. From an asset standpoint, same type of thing. So when you write the contract, you're giving an earnest money deposit check. Well, that check gets deposited anywhere from three to five business days at the most after ratification, either with the title attorney or with the brokerage of with your agent. So obviously at that point, you're providing us updated bank statements and that EMD hasn't cleared your account. So what happens is, is that in order for you to get credit for that EMD that you've given that goes towards your down payment and closing costs, we're gonna need an updated transaction summary or an updated bank statement because we wanna be able to give you credit for that amount of money that you need to bring to the table. So the process I know can be, people call it a financial colonoscopy. I understand <laughs> it can be really difficult, okay? And look, I will tell you, every landlord out there will tell you the same thing I'm getting ready to tell you right now. We don't wanna ask for it, right? Less is more in our world. It makes our job a lot easier. So understand that if, a, if your lender is asking you for something, trust me, it's not because they want to, it's because we have to. And please accommodate and do what needs to be done. Sometimes, you know, I hear that other clients tell me, well, the other lender I work with asked me for the same thing three different times. Look, I can't speak for other lenders, all right? We try very hard to make sure we don't ask for things twice, but it can happen. A lot of times the reason why that may happen is because you scanned it to us, maybe a part of it was cut off, maybe it was blurred, bad connection when it was uploaded, whatever it may be, those are all the reasons why. And unfortunately, we just ask, we don't tell you why. So just know that again, if we're asking for it, it's because we need it, not because we want to, all right? Yep, sounds good. So again, keep all those things in a folder and be prepared to provide additional information if needed. Perfect. Well, Maggie, hey, thanks a lot for being the host today. Uh, thank, you. thank you guys for very much for joining us and have a great day. Thanks a lot. All right, bye-bye.